Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment is a swing in magnets. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is six skewers, four rubber bands, yarn, one ceramic ring magnet, and three ceramic rectangle magnets. To put this experiment together, you're going to take your skewers uh, two at a time, and you kind of make a little cross there like that at the end. Be careful, the ends are a little sharp, and then take a magnet and twist it around until you cannot twist it anymore. I uh, just continue to twist it. It doesn't have to be all the way, but close uh, to tight. Then you take one of the other ends um, and take a third uh, skewer. And you're going to do the same thing, uh, putting it like a little bit of a cross there or a T uh, shape. And take the rubber band and go around it as many times uh, as you can with your rubber band, depending on the size of the rubber band. It might get more twists than the others, but until it's nice and tight. And then you're going to spread it out until you have a triangle. And you're going to do the last one for this is for the base of the experiment. And so you're going to take that and then you're going to uh, make a T again and take a rubber band. And we're going to uh, secure this off by wrapping it around as many times as we can. And then after we get this completely tight here, uh, then we have our base uh, finished, uh, which is a triangle. So that's the first part of it. And now we're going to work on the, the second part, the top part. And what we're going to do for the top part is we're going to take all three of the skewers at the same time this time. They don't have to be crossed over. Um, I'm going to start with the non-pointed ends. So make the top part the non-pointed ends. Just put them all together and wrap the fourth rubber band around until it's completely tight. Um, and once it's completely tight, uh, then you're, you're ready to go. And from there, um, we're going to brace it out like a teepee, you know, so, so we can make a triangle or a pyramid coming up. So now that we have that there, um, we're going to take one corner and slide it in between one of the rubber band uh, strands and push it up a little bit so you have a little bit of a base um, and don't let it fall like that. And then once we get uh, it in, then we're going to slide down a second one over to the second side there pull a piece of rubber band out and put that base in. Uh, you want it about a half inch up. Uh, it doesn't have to be completely up, but big enough for your rectangle ceramic uh, magnet to fit underneath it and take your third one and then even them out. Um, and then you've got your base set. You're, you're all set there on the triangle or pyramid with the skewers. And you can see the ceramic uh, magnet has to be able to fit under it. Um, if you want to make them even, you can kind of just go around and make sure that uh, it fits under all sides and then you're ready to go. And here's what it looks like from the top view. And then when you come down, uh, you can see that it's just up about a half inch, just enough for the ceramic uh, rectangle magnet to go under. And now we're ready to put on the yarn. So the yarn is the length of the skewer. Um, and so just cut a piece of the yarn that's the length of the skewer and then you take your round ceramic magnet and then you're going to tie uh, the yarn in there. It doesn't have to be yarn. Um, it could be any kind of string. Uh, I just happen to have yarn sitting around um, in the experiment drawer. And so take that and tie that off so um, it's got a knot on it so it's secure. And then we're going to hang it and we want it to be about an inch above the ground. So this might take a couple times to get it tied right. Um, but once you do, I'm going to move these magnets out of the way. Um, and then we're going to tie a knot and hang it down uh, from, uh, from the top and try to get it about an inch off. So uh, this might take a couple tries. And it doesn't have to be a double knot or anything, but once you slip it on there and you have it and it's to the right measurement just like that, then you're able to uh, start doing the experiment. So we'll check it with our hand. We kind of want it to be just far enough off the ground there, just a little bit over your, your finger. If your magnets are catching on them, as you'll see, then you're going to want to retie the knot and uh, pull it up. So that's what it looks like, and now we're ready to do the experiment. So the first experiment is just having the three rectangle uh, magnets um, hanging out a little bit farther and you can see they all kind of want to pull out um so it's going to kind of go to one or the other if it gets too close they're going to like catch on to it so you just want it just far enough apart um, you can give it a hit um so it goes back and forth and it'll kind of 
uh, pull back and forth as it's getting drawn to which magnet's the closest, and then one will pull from the other with the momentum. So that's kind of cool. So you give your own little test on swirling that magnet around or just let it go by itself. Uh, I kind of like letting it fling up and see how that one works and see which one it really pulls to. Uh, so it's pretty cool uh, doing this one here. I, I, I love this one a lot. So this time I moved the, the magnets to the inside of the of the triangles there, and you can see it's got a little bit more reaction. It's uh, flipping the magnet a lot quicker this way, uh, and I don't really have to hit it. It's just going back and forth and spinning, kind of doing a rotation this way. So you can play around on different locations you put your magnets to see how it's going to affect it. So now this experiment, you want to hold the magnet completely still before you start. And then we're just going to use our hand on the outside with one of the magnets and just going back and forth. And you're able to spin it by getting the north-south coming by really quickly. We'll spin the magnet. So if once again, if you get too close, it's just going to attach to it. Um, I'm on the outside of the triangle and I'm just moving it back and forth to get it to spin. And it's pretty crazy that sometimes it starts winding up so much the yarn starts to get tangled up and it really starts to spin off. So uh, this was kind of a fun one there. I got a little bit too close. Uh, it wants to, <laughs> there, there it goes. It wants to attach to it. So it's kind of a, an art, I guess, to get as close as possible. Um, but the idea is you want to get this to spin by just moving the magnet by it. So you could go quicker or, or a little bit slower. And the third and final uh, experiment is I just got two magnets on the bottom. And uh, when you swing it over, it's kind of like a dancing magnet here. So as it swings back and forth and it tries to come to a stop, it just can't come to a stop. It just wants to keep going back and forth. Uh, it'll actually go here <laughs> for a very long time. So, you know, give it a spin and see how long it'll last. Try three magnets to see what happens. Uh, but it's kind of cool when you swing it, it'll definitely start to come to a stop and then it just starts dancing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe as we do a new video every day. And thanks for watching. Happy magnet dancing.